Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on invariant points. In this video, we're going to look at what invariant points are and look at some typical questions on them. So first of all, what are invariant points? So when a shape is transformed, so that's translated, rotated, reflected or enlarged, the points of that shape will generally move. But if a point stays in the same position after that transformation, then that is an invariant point. So for instance, if a shape was reflected and one of the points stayed in the same position, that would be an invariant point. So an invariant point is a point that after transformation, it stays in the same position or it's, it's in the same position as it was whenever it started. So it hasn't moved anywhere. So let's take a look at some questions. So let's have a look at our first one. So here we've got a triangle, ABC. It's a right angle triangle. And the question says ABC is reflected in the y-axis. So here we've got the y-axis here, there. And that's going to be the mirror line, and we're going to reflect it in that mirror line. So first of all, let's do our reflection. So if it's on the mirror line, it's going to stay there. So that will be where A was. B, well, it's going to move 1, 2, so 1, 2, and C, 1, 2, 1, 2. So when we reflect triangle ABC in the y-axis, it will move to here. But as you can see, this point here, now excuse the drawing, okay, if you're doing that in the test, make sure you're using a ruler. Um, as you can see, the point A has stayed in the same position. So that's an invariant point. So uh, are there any invariant points? Yes, there are invariant points. And it's one point, and it's the point A. So the point A is invariant, okay? So because this shape was reflected and the point A has stayed where it was, it's an invariant point. Let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, we've got our ABC again, and all these questions we're going to use the same triangle, ABC, and it's translated, so slid, moved, by the vector minus 3, minus 1. So the top number is to the left or to the right, so that's minus 3, so that's going to be 3 squares to the left, and then this square will mean 1 down. So we're going to move the shape 3 squares to the left and 1 square down. And we're going to see, are there any invariant points? So let's start off with A. Well, 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3 and 1 down, so that's where it will move to. B, 1, 2, 3 and 1 down. And C, 1, 2, 3 and 1 down, and it will move to here. So the triangle is clearly moved and it's all the way over there, and none of the points will be in the same position because all the th points are 3 squares to the left and 1 square down, so none of them are going to be invariant. So are there any invariant points? No. Okay, our next question. So here we've got a triangle, ABC again, and the question says ABC is rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the point B. So this is going to be the centre of rotation here, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees clock or anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is around this way, and it's 90 degrees, so a quarter turn. So that will mean, so you can get tracing paper for this if you want to, and to do it in an exam, you're, you're welcome to get that tracing paper and move it. Um, I'm just going to do it... Um, sort of mentally. So here we've got the point A, it's going to be rotated 90 degrees, so around here to there. The point B will stay where it is, the point C will be rotated 90 degrees, so it's going to move around to here, and then the triangle will move to this position here after the rotation. Now, as you can see, so the point A has moved to here, it's moved, the point C has moved, um, the point A or point B has stayed in its position, so it's one invariant point. Now we've got to check for other ones, because as you can see there's a line here which is on top of another line, but as you can see it was all the points in this line have moved to there, so it's not the same point, so none of those points have stayed in the same position. So the only point that stayed in the same position is this point B. So are there any invariant points? Yes, and it's the point B. Okay, next. Our next question says, ABC is enlarged by scale factor 2 with centre of enlargement 2, 2. So 2, 2 is here, and we're going to enlarge the triangle by scale factor 2. So that means that all the points will become twice as far away um, from this point, the centre of enlargement. So the point C will stay where it is, because obviously it's no distance away, and double that zero, it stays where it is. But all these points will move twice as far away. So B is 1 down, so it's going to be double twice as far away, so it's going to move to there. Uh, A is 2 to the left and 1 down, so it's going to move four to the left and two down to here. And if I just join this up, it's gonna look something, let's change the color of ink there. It's going to look like this. So the triangle is enlarged, but all the points have become twice as far away apart from C. C has stayed where it is. So yes, there is an invariant point and it's the point C. Okay, um, all these points are for instance, the point which might be just down a little bit there, it'll be twice as far away. All of them have moved apart from the point C. 
Okay, so let's have a look at our next example, our next question. So our next question is a bit different from the others. So it says ABC is reflected in the line Y equals X. So here's the line Y equals X, and we're going to reflect it in that line. Now just remember that any point that's on a mirror line, when it's reflected, it'll stay in the same position. So uh, it says how many invariant points are there? So let's reflect it. So A will move, well, one or half a diagonal, so half a diagonal, so there. B, half a diagonal, half a diagonal there, and C will stay where it is. So C is one of the invariant points. Now there, there is another one. Remember what I said, uh, so we're gonna just join the ship there, actually we'll do that first. So the triangle will move to there. Again, please excuse the freehand drawn. Now any point on the mirror line will be invariant um, after the reflection. So as you can see, C is one of the invariant points. But this point here, the point halfway between the midpoint of A B, so this point here, A I 1 1, 1 1 is on the mirror line, so when the triangle was reflected it stayed where it was. So there's actually two very invariant points in that question, there's two of them, oh sorry, are there any? Yes, there's two, is the point C and the point 1 1, so there's actually two invariant points. So that was just a sort of, a, a sort of quite a nice question, just to sort of show you that it's not always the, the vertices, the corners, A, B or C that are invariant, it can be other points on the shape that might be invariant also. Okay, and our last question. Okay, so our last question, it's, it's a bit of a, a trick one as well, but it's, it's sort of an interesting one. So here we've got the triangle ABC, and tri the triangle ABC is reflected in the line Y equals minus, or Y equals one. So let's draw that mirror line on. So that mirror line will look something like this, and we're gonna reflect it in that mirror line. Now just remember that any point on a mirror line, whenever it's reflected, will stay on there. Now as you can see, the whole of this line here, AB is on the mirror line. So A will stay where it is, B will stay where it is. The midpoint, all these coordinates, and there's actually infinitely many, because obviously you could have like 0 0.011, 0 0.51, 1 1.9991, 1 and so on. So there's actually infinitely many points over that say the same. Let's actually do the reflection. C will move to here. It'll move down there, and so on. Um, and so it would look something like that. Now, because obviously there's infinitely many, sometimes the question will be worded slightly differently. Rather than asking about invariant points, the question might say which of the vertices are invariant. So it might ask about vertices or you know, like a vertex or vertices being invariant. And that means which of the corners of the sh uh, shape stay in the same position. So here we've got the triangle. Um, it's been reflected. If the question said where, which of the vertices are invariant, well, A would be invariant and B would be invariant in this question. C obviously isn't. So just be aware that sometimes a question might not ask about invariant points, particularly if you know a whole line has stayed in the same position. They might ask about vertices being invariant. But so first of all, what are invariant points? Well, invariant points are just points that have stayed in the same position after transformation. Um, be aware that sometimes there might be um, invariant points which might not be vertices or corners like this one here and also be aware that sometimes if a line has stayed in the same position um, there might be infinitely many so watch out for the word or the question asking about you know which of the vertices are invariant rather than points and that's it a lovely topic and um, there's questions on corbettmaths.com also please subscribe to me on youtube if you find this video useful please subscribe um, i really appreciate it thanks very much we're back